it feels so surreal. Yeah, it feels like it was just yesterday. It's just like, it's so much more than I thought it was going to be. And to me, even though it's cliche, I guess you could say it would be a family. I don't know, just getting close to everybody that we know. Uh, I think band has been more of a, uh, a force to help push people to do different things. And when we came here, it was all about getting better at your instrument and actually being good, not just having a good time, but having a good time being good. And that, it really hit me because I like being better than people. So, you know, winning is fun. Yeah. But, I mean, it's definitely probably the friends you make through it because even though you left a lot behind, it's easy to do that when you have so much more in front of you, so. Yeah, I'd have to say my favorite part was just the closeness. My favorite like, part is probably um, just, like, being around a bunch of people that, like, you actually enjoy being around. Because at Stony Point, <laughs> yeah. I had a click. At this band, I kind of, like, know everybody. Like, I know everybody. Right. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's, it's, it's to, not yeah. not segregated by what what you play. It's not. All my friends are in band. Yeah, that's true. I know like a total of five people outside of band. I think one Best band, friends. one family, right? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I built Kalima's desk. Yeah, we by myself. <laughs> by myself. I have to say, it was the South Padre trip because it was. Um, it was fun. It was really, it had some really crazy moments, and that's what made it really memorable for me. I mean, just because it was so funny. I mean... I don't really agree. Like, I think that... Overall, it was probably the funnest thing. I think that it was a nice trip after having to, like, work really hard, you know, it was a good time to just, yeah. like, let loose. I'm where you have to be the, um, BOA Conroe Finals. It was really exciting to be able to, like, stand up there, you know, hear our name called, you know. Yeah, I mean, It was exciting. Afterwards, and the whole, all the bands, like, kind of dispersed with within each other I yeah. think I thought because we we know a lot of people in the bands so yeah. uh, across like yeah, that mine was probably the finals at Via Ray Conroe also just because not really just because we got to meet all the other band people but like because the year before we were watching right, the finals yeah, yeah. yeah we were right, like right. whoa those bands are so good and then we were, we're one of, we were, we were one yeah. of those bands so yeah. just those bands who are sitting out watching in the finals are going wow I want to be like Cedar Ridge when we like made the finals at um VOA. Oh, Conroe? Oh, yeah. I think, yeah, that was a good feeling. Especially when we were sitting down and he's like, y'all were in the top five. But everybody's like, on the field, you know you want to like punch somebody in the face right at that yeah. moment. You know, 20 <laughs> minutes later you can say hi and it'll be okay. Yeah, oh, girl, I know. <laughs> oh, like, um, I remember the first week of marching band here, I was like, I'm going to quit because I hate that Mr. Kalima. No, I'm leaving. I'm not going to deal with this during concert season. But then, uh, just kind of grew on us, you know? I was really excited about the retreat at BOA Houston. I thought that was a special thing. That was really yeah. fun. Yeah, that, that was probably one of my biggest events. I was like shaking in anticipation. Yeah. <laughs> it was cool to get to mingle with a lot of other band members too. Actually, um, that reminds me, one of the better moments was just like going, uh, making finals. Our very first oh, yeah. year. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. definitely one of the top I think moments. The moment when they said our name as fourth place. When we first went out to perform and everyone started laughing, but it's because they enjoyed yeah. our show. And maybe like that first year when we actually made Sam Houston finals. Yeah, that was cool. Like, I can first remember playing Ness and Dorma last year. Oh my god. Oh, yes. I'm not Mr. Kalima tearing up. Uh, like and, twice. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, going through UIL and seeing Mr. Kalima's <laughs> face was just like. Oh my gosh. The pride uh, there. Yeah, just like that that insane feeling and it just it was it was just amazing. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so when I saw him tear up on Ness and Dorma, I, I almost started tearing up a little yeah. bit too. Yeah. I was just like, like oh Lord. Video? I, th I think so. I, th I think it was also at that last enough. concert, the spring concert, I think was when he started tearing up the most. That was big. Mm -hmm. It would have had as great of an experience if we stayed over there. Because mm -hmm. I feel like we've uh, had a lot of doors open for us with Mr. Kalima and that he's done a lot for us in this band program. It's beautiful print on the ceiling, penny in the, penny wall. In the wall. Penny in the wall.
featuring music by James Horner, Carl Jenkins, Modest Musorski, Ryan George, Rick Rodriguez, and Coldplay. First of all, always make sure Mr. Kaleem is happy. Yes. Kaleem <laughs> is like your number one priority. You have to make him happy I mean, and then you, you have just to like know, that, like have a set time, you know, when to do your homework. You know, it's not, it's not yeah. as bad as it seems. Um, it's just time, time management. You definitely need to, um, you definitely need to know how to stay up late. If you're yeah. Gonna do that. <laughs> like myself, just to say, okay, this is what they did. How could I, not not me just copying them, but how could I make what they did right, better? Yeah. Right. Just to make sure that we, because if we do what they did, then we just be like it'd be just like saying, okay, we're gonna be as good as them. But right. in reality, you want to be like the best yeah. program you could better. possibly be. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I'm like, well, practice yeah. your instrument. Yeah, definitely practice. Always your instrument. practice. If your you instrument. don't practice, you're not gonna stay dedicated. Very hard. To be yeah. honest, the best thing, the best advice I think I have for the next coming classes is to really just have fun, you know? Take what you have in the next four years because it really does fly by. I mean, yeah, I remember, it does feel like yesterday when I was a freshman. Sounds would be just time management, I guess. I mean, making sure that you handle your core classes, your uh, extracurriculars, and band, because I mean, you know. Uh, don't be afraid to devote yourself uh, entirely to the program. I keep focusing, keep driving, I would say, because, you know. So if you want to be a good leader, learn to be patient and if you make things more enjoyable you'll find that they get better faster yeah give yeah. people a reason to try yeah and, ev that. and everyone's yeah everyone's an individual don't try to generalize your teaching techniques sometimes different things work for different people yeah. try to get a feel for what individuals respond to Work on being close in your sections and in your leadership and as a band because if you're not close you're not going to enjoy the time spent with everyone and so even if you're good the band isn't going to be good as a whole yeah appreciate everything because i mean we're almost done and it's sad it's like oh oh i wish we would have more times to be all together but yeah, yeah. show so, everyone respect yeah. oh definitely respect yep. everyone definitely work on that <laughs> also you should always be on your best behavior because a lot of times you'd have, well when I was at Round, there were section leaders who would do something questionable 
and then like later some people in the section would do it too they're like little kids like you can't misbehave in front of them you have to always be setting a good example those that are going to be seniors i would just say to not um let it pass by because it really like it still feels like I'm a freshman. <laughs> yeah. You can't focus too much on things that happen that you're like. Um, I guess best advice would just be uh, just take everything in stride. Up is because... that if just because we're gone, don't think that you don't have the opportunity to win as equally as we did this year. Push to the end and help each other out. Help out the incoming freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, and just hope for the best. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I guess the best advice I have is to be patient because there are a lot of times where you might want to go crazy on someone. Uh, you can go above and beyond with how you treat other people and um, how you're leading this band. Mm -hmm. So, mm, I would just say like maybe pay attention to the lower classmen because like they might think, oh, they're above us so they don't care about us, so why should we listen? Just maybe just pay attention to them, get to know them better get into their personal lives maybe, I don't know, but just Cause that was to them. Yeah, that was kind of, um, <clears throat> I think our mistake, our sophomore year, because yeah. like we only experienced band for one year, mm -hmm. and here is like, what, t 20 of us were leaders, at half the band, mm -hmm. and I mean, we didn't really know how to treat you guys, mainly just because, you know, we no. didn't really have experience. Yeah. <laughs> It's the Cedar Ridge High School Band from Round Rock, Texas.
Okay. He wants to start. I don't know where you start <laughs> with that question. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like most about band? <laughs> <laughs> you killed someone with a pickle. Oh, really gross. Uh, no, it would be easier to kill someone with a symbol, clearly. I remember. Like in your marching uniform? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like During our jungle, we went pew, all put our instruments down and went, Oh my god! Da, 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 huh. That's huh. really funny. <laughs> I remember Michael Granberg jumped in the ocean, he's like, I don't have sunscreen on! Then that night, he was in the ER. <laughs> he regretted it. And then, I remember that morning, actually, because we got the the parents, if you were being loud, they would call the security oh, yeah. on you, and our room got oh. called on a couple times. It was two in the morning-ish, and we were like, we were hungry. So we called Kalima because he's always up at that time of night. And we asked him, hey, can we order a pizza? He's like, what? Can we order a pizza? We're hungry. I'm going to have to get back to you. I got to take these kids to the hospital. They're <laughs> somewhere. You can do whatever you want. And then he hung up the phone. So I guess we'll take that as a no then. If we can't order pizza. <laughs> I got to like turn around and make weird faces at like the bands who would be watching us in the back and be like, what? What's that? I'm like...
I'm really going to miss the competitiveness of marching season. Yeah, I would say the community, just because you get to know everybody so well. And the bus rides, definitely the bus rides. <laughs> ah. The directors, everybody. The people. I don't know, when I came from Brown Rock, it was just really nice. Everyone was so nice to me. I'm going to miss the family atmosphere at all, and all the opportunities I've been given here at the school. I'm going to miss that a lot. Well, it's just like we started this. It's like having a baby and then having to leave it and watch it grow up <laughs> after three years. <laughs> I'm gonna miss having somewhere I can always go because in the band hall after, during lunch you go there, after classes you go there, before school you go there, you basically live in the band hall throughout high school and there's always people you can talk to there. If you ever need anything you can go to the band hall. I'm gonna miss that. It's time to pack up our sleeping bags, can't live here anymore. <laughs> <sighs> about is probably the connectivity I had with a bunch of people. Yeah, what I told my um, section on our last competition, so I went to them and I was like, guys, we're like a flock, you know, <laughs> we're together right now, but after this, we're gonna all break apart and we're all gonna fly different ways. Some of us may never see each other again, honestly. Um, so. The connectivity, it's, it wasn't just the fact that we made friends yeah. and met people, but the impacts we made on them. That's the most, it's just the friends. And just the whole not... family aspect of it. Just everybody being together, us actually having a community of people we can talk to no matter what. Hardly being, because this is kind of all we've known since we've been in like sixth grade. There's so much I've experienced in the past, and it was just because of band. Like, I, I learned, uh, how to not give up and just just to keep going. Such a big role and it kind of like I feel that's really going to help me later on in life and it already has. I'm just gonna miss these people that I've learned these lessons with because I know they're gonna um, you know I'm not probably not gonna see like a lot of them in a long time. In the competitions because like after high school I just you can't go to the comp band competitions ever again mm -hmm. the same because college is so different. Yeah, I think I'm going to miss playing my instrument the most because I'm not going to be doing band next year. And that's a pretty big part of my life that I've dedicated. So. Seven years just to have more kids. It's going to be really weird, like, after you guys leave. Yeah. Because we've always had that one class that took care of everything that was always above us, the drum major or the leadership. And it's going to be weird to like fill that void after you guys are gone.